you might be asking yourself the question, why should I even collect physical media? What's the point of it? Everything is on streaming, right? Wrong. You might be finding yourself in a situation just like this. Oh man, let's watch Prom Night 2. Let's see what it's on. I don't want to watch it with ads because I hate ads. So, let's see, maybe it's on, maybe it's on Hulu. No, no, it's not on Hulu. Oh wow. That one's not even available on, that one's not even available on Blu-ray either. I hate this. I hate it. So if you're going through this and you're asking, my, asking yourself, why would I own a movie like Beyond the Gates or Scare Package 2 or The Last of Us on Blu-ray when I can watch it on streaming? You can watch all of these movies on streaming, but there is something about owning a physical disc, about something that's better than streaming. And I know that there's digital stuff out there. There's digital movies. There's uh, There used to be ultraviolet, all of this stuff where it's digital and it has extras, which is nice. You don't get on streaming, but with something like The Last of Us on Blu-ray from Warner Brothers, from HBO, you get a package here that comes with a nice slip cover, a box, a disc, booklets, whatever else. There's so much stuff out there that are these companies pumping tons of money into physical releases, and there's tons of people out there that are doomsaying. There's tons of people. There's so many people that are going out and out and about and saying, oh my God, the sky is falling. Physical media is dead. They don't know what they're talking about. Really, they, they're, they, I, they do know what they're talking about because they're doing it to doomsay. You might sit there and you scroll through an app like Twitter slash X, whatever, Facebook, Instagram, whatever you're going through and people are gonna be screaming their heads off. Best Buy is not selling Blu-rays anymore. Oh my God. And it's not actually that big of a deal. Think about the last time you strolled into a Target and you went over to the shelf and you pulled something off and you bought it and you said, wow, I don't have a copy of Death Wish 2 from Vinegar Syndrome. I'm gonna buy it from Best Buy. It's probably been a pretty long time since you've done that. It has. There's gonna be people out there, oh, I go to Best Buy all the time and buy my Blu-rays. If there was that many people and you were actually doing it, they would keep selling them, guys. There's. Tons of companies that want to put out movies on Blu-ray and 4K and DVD and all of that. And they're important. It is important to have physical media. That is why collecting physical media as a movie enthusiast, as a movie lover, is really one of the most important things you can do. It signals to the studios, hey, we want to give you money. Netflix, this is my own personal just pleading with you. I'm getting close to the camera right now, Netflix, if you're listening. I want to give you so much money for all of your movies and shows. I want a, a straight Stranger Things box set. I want a, a Fear Street box set. Please give it to us. All of these other companies, there's Warner, there's MGM, Amazon. There's tons of companies out here that are putting all their stuff out on Blu-ray and 4K and DVD because it sells. It sells. With streaming prices getting to be outrageous, you're going to start paying $20, $25 a month for Netflix. And most people out there, let's face it, you're paying that much for either one show. I know I pay a lot of money to Peacock for WWE and Forensic Files. As soon as Peacock starts raising their prices, I'm going to have to rethink that or look for a Forensic Files box set on DVD or something. The prices on, of streaming services are outrageous. Guess what? If you just want Stranger Things, if you just want something, if you just want to watch a show, I'm trying to look for shows here and I can't find any. Uh, they're, they're all over here. If you just want to watch a show like The Last of Us from HBO, you don't have to pay HBO $15 a month, $20 a month when you can get the Blu-ray for $25 and you have it forever. They can never take it away from you. And with other companies, with Disney, with all this stuff, they have movies that they own in their catalog from Fox that they're not putting out. 20th Century Fox has tons of great releases. They have so many seasons of The Simpsons, Family Guy, American Dad that are not out on Blu-ray or DVD or 4K or whatever because they just chose not to, to, to put them out. So when you're going out there and you're collecting Blu-ray and you're collecting physical media, and this stretches beyond movies, it stretches into video games. I've got a video game right here I haven't played yet. Robocop, Rogue City, on Xbox. Microsoft is looking to shut down physical media, physical game sales. This is important because one, they can delist anything anytime they want. That means you will not have access to it in the future unless you have a disc. There's a collector market, there's a secondary market, there's a market for these things and people want them. And so when you're looking to start collecting physical media and you're wondering why it's so important, 
The chief reason is film preservation. For a company like Vinegar Syndrome, part of the reason why I give them so much money for crap movies, or movies that might be seen as crap, is because I know that the dollar amounts that I'm giving them is going toward film preservation. They have an entire archive of film reels, of movies that are obscure, that have been forgotten about, that people don't remember, that people might have only seen once or whatever. There's so many people out there that have movies like this that would die to, to keep them alive, to keep them going. And it's the same thing as movie theaters. If there's secondary movie theaters around you, in, in LA here we have the New Beverly, we have Vidiots, we have tons of them that are doing great work to help preserve film history. And you doing that by buying a Blu-ray, it might seem like a small thing. It might seem like something that is super small in the grand scheme of things. How am I, the single lone consumer, paying 10 to $20 for a Blu-ray saving film history? Well, you're saving film history by giving these movie executives that are as dumb as a block of rocks to, oh, we made money off of that? Well, let's keep doing it. It's free money to them. It's free money because they're putting out something, again, like Jurassic World Dominion here, that already made a billion dollars plus at the box office. Guess what? They're getting even more money on top of that to release this 4K and for people to buy this 4K. So that's why it's important. That's why it's necessary to support physical media, physical movies. And that's not to say to not support streaming. Streaming is important as ever. I've watched plenty of movies that I would never have watched before because they were on streaming and it's like, oh, I'll watch it for free. Something like Scare Package 2 that I just showed off was one of my favorite movies of 2022 and I would have never seen it if it wasn't for Shudder and streaming. Luckily, Shudder puts out all of their movies on Blu-ray, but don't forget about streaming. Don't become one of those people that's just militantly physical media only. When you have to watch a movie, you gotta watch a movie, folks. That's just what it is. So if you wanna watch a movie, you watch it any way you can. But if you want to own that movie, you want to support that movie, you want to support the people in that movie, there is nothing better than supporting it in the theater and then buying a, a physical copy of it to keep it alive because there's stuff they can change, digital copies, you can get them taken away. Apple, I used to own Total Recall on iTunes. Guess what I, guess what happened? I paid $20 for it. I got a $5 Apple reward or whatever when they took it away they took the license away so you think you own your digital movies you don't they can change them at any time guess what if they want to make changes to happy death day they're not changing my 4k copy of it the only thing that's going to change this is the de degradation of the disc and at that point whatever i'll buy a new one but they can't take that away from me they can't take that away from you watching this so support physical media when you can. Support movies on streaming because I know there's tons of movie studios out there that are just dumping movies on streaming and just leaving them out to die. But there's a way to save them and that's physical media. Do you have a big physical media collection? Do you have something that looks like this? Do you have a small, modest collection? If you like this video and you want some more tips on how to collect physical media, check out this video right here. It'll tell you everything you need to know and then some.